I say to you, especially those who do, who are bi, not bipolar, who are, what, what's that word now? Who are bilocational in influence. You know, some of us are just church, right? Don't lower standards. And be careful because sometimes Babylon invites so that they can take your voice. Are you with me? So there are certain invitations outside the economy of the kingdom that will make you feel, yes, it's an opportunity to take kingdom influence there. Some of those grounds are slippery grounds. And in trying to take kingdom influence there, you may have to, you know, be very economical with the standards of the kingdom because of cravings for acceptability. Babylon does not govern by force. It governs by corruption. You may have to stand for something that you normally will not stand for or propound a theory that is against your belief system. You may be using the energies of Zion to advance Babylon. So every time you have an invitation of Babylon, sit with the Holy Ghost and capture what I call the wisdom of Daniel. The wisdom of Daniel has to do with um, influence in Babylon, but within the boundaries of kingdom consecration. Are you with me? Because the Lord said to me that the Bible is wide and the average person who needs to be wise to beat the enemy may not have the privilege to read through the Bible. So we should understand that he has kept wisdom for survival in these last days, not, in the, not only in the instruction of scriptures, but in personalities. So that if you find yourself in Potiphar's wife, you may not have found out the scriptures that say, thou shalt not commit adultery but the wisdom is personified in who joseph so you just need to crack into joseph he has embodied the wisdom that in the day of adversity when the the witness of men is walk away on god see what he has made out of your life there is a wisdom that personifies patience long suffering under pressure the name is job are you with me i know many of you want to be anointed okay I love being anointed too. <laughs> but you see, the Bible makes me know that the, with the anointing comes a conflict. And if you are looking for how to survive with the conflict that comes with the anointing, it's been personified in the name of a young girl called Mary. Because it was high favor that made her stomach begin to protrude. So Mary could no longer say, or could no longer say God has not chosen me but how do we solve this pregnancy that we need to explain to everybody as a result of the choice of God over my life that's the conflict of the anointed and every anointed man truly anointed man who stands in his calling will face conflicts every one of them will know the way of isolation except to compromise on your anointing you will need to know how to endure and carry a baby that indicates your blessing but advertises your conflict for as long as possible until he's born you just need to study the story of Mary you will survive are you with me in case let me not go too far in case you find yourself very close to the king and I'm speaking to you now you may be male but there's an Esther anointing on you you will have found in Esther the technologies of manipulating the throne. It's not beauty. It's built into fasting. That's how to manipulate the throne. You will fast. The people who work with you will fast. And then you will tell your brethren to fast. That fasting doesn't take long according to scriptures. Then you approach the king and then you experience unusual favor that will bring redemption. That wisdom is personified in who? Esther. So, so sometimes, sometimes you may be in prayers. And Lord, how do I go about it? And the only thing God shouts at you is Esther. 
and bro you may be thinking it's the name of a wife no it's wisdom personified in a personality all of these things i'm sharing are tools that god uses to bring interventions when we are short of time because we are darkness has matured darkness has matured 